Hi everyone, Kerry here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today I have a base game house for you guys, but it's not only a base game house, but it's also a starter home. But there's a problem here because I don't know if it's my problem or it's something regarding the gallery because this house, um, it's supposed to cost like 17k but uh, when I uploaded it to the gallery it actually uh, cost it like 23k and I still don't know why because I had like 3k to spare and I just don't know why uh, the gallery would mark it as costing 23k I, I have no idea but I still consider this house to be um, a starter home because that was my idea and I'm sure and you will see it uh, when you get to the very end of the video that I used less than 20,000 simoleons to build this house so I don't know what the problem was but yeah you can consider this house a starter home anyways <laughs> um, I'm pre-recording right now so this video should be up on Tuesday and that means Christmas is already over but we're getting ready to new year <laughs> so i hope you guys have had a nice christmas like merry christmas to all of you uh to those of you that couldn't spend it with your families i hope you still have had a nice christmas and that you have um, had the opportunity to actually uh, enjoy even though uh, you couldn't be with the ones that you loved but uh just stay there and get ready for new years because we're finally getting rid of 2020 and i really hope 2021 is better than this year um so yeah uh we're saying goodbye to this year with a base game starter home <laughs> and yeah this house is actually really cramped it has room for two sims because i used a double bed and that bed is accessible for from both sides so you can uh, have two sims living in this house and I decided that uh, the bedroom would be the biggest part of this build because of the windows that I used I wanted them to be part of the bedroom and that's why this room is bigger than the other the rest of the house actually <laughs> but yeah the kitchen is really small and you know uh, as always when I build uh, houses that are starter homes I just place random furniture I just decide on the layout of everything and then I just decide on what furniture I'm gonna use definitely so I change it lately so don't worry because the kitchen is not gonna look that ran down it's actually gonna have really nice appliances and stuff uh, because every time that I build starter homes for some reason uh, my houses really always cost less but way less than 20k i don't know if, it, if it's because i build really small starter homes or why but i don't know this house uh i had the the money to use a lot of good appliances but i didn't want to do it that way because i thought it was gonna be too easy <laughs> so yeah we're not using the i don't know 13k stove or anything like that we're just using regular furniture in here and then i'm gonna change it you have here actually a computer and everything for your sims to develop their skills also i put an easel on the porch and i decided to use these custom paintings that i downloaded from the gallery i used um a lot of them and i put the name of the simmer that created them uh, here in the video and it's also gonna be a link to their gallery website so if you want to download these custom uh, paintings you can do it by just clicking in the link and yeah this is not custom content i want to um clarify that this is not custom content this is custom uh, paintings so it's just paintings that your sims uh, painted by reference uh, from different stuff that you asked them to do and then they upload it to the gallery i don't know the exact um way that they do it because every time i do it 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 still counts as custom content so i don't know what or how they do it but it's not custom content it's just custom paintings so i use them here because i was really tired of using the ones that we got in base game i don't like them that much because they're not really nice i just don't think they look good in this build they're really old in my opinion they look kind of more um victorian or rustic but they don't look kind of 
in the modern way that I wanted to build this house. So that's why I decided to use custom paintings and I think this is the second time that I used them. I used them before in another base game house that I did and yeah. I just don't use them that often because I try to challenge myself into using the things that we got in game but considering the fact that this is not considered custom content I just decided to use it anyways and I think they look really good that they give a nice vibe to this build so yeah if you want to download any custom paintings you can do it from the gallery they have a lot of different varieties so you can find anything that you want more realistic ones like they look more alpha in my opinion and some others like these ones that are just plants and they look really nice really maxis match in my opinion and yeah I just wanted to do something different and that's why I decided to use custom paintings for this house so this is the living room and it's only one sofa and this table with a TV I didn't want to use any other TVs like bigger TVs because I really wanted the painting to be the center of the living room because it looks good <laughs> it's new I wanted to use it and they i don't think your sims would need a bigger tv because as i said before it was gonna be too easy if you want to start from scratch and like just start in a starter home and like build your house with the budget that you have and stuff like a rocks to riches or something um you don't need a bigger tv but you have this really fancy computer here it's one of the best ones from from the base game i think and that's how you can say that I had a lot of um, money to spare in this house and I still don't know why the gallery marks as it, it costing uh, 23k, I just don't get it. But yeah, this is uh, the porch area and what I'm gonna do here is actually put two chairs and the easel that I mentioned before. I know the outside of the house looks kind of um, industrial in a way but the interior is not that much and that's why i really like how this house looks oh i forgot to mention that i built this house in oasis springs it's a 20 by 15 lot in oasis springs so the landscaping that i did I actually wanted it to match with the rest of the landscaping from the world and that's why I decided to create these areas with sand because uh, part of the lot uh, in Oasis Springs are covered with sand and the other ones have grass and that's why I decided to create these areas here and then I'm gonna um, use this debug item to create like a frame just to frame this area so they don't look um, just like I put them randomly here <laughs> so yeah the garden area here look I think it looks really nice of course I didn't show you the whole process because it took me forever to do it I don't have the organized debug menu stuff like mod or anything like that so I cannot copy the items from the debug menu so I had to put them one by one and rotate them and everything so I didn't want to show you that because it was too repetitive and it didn't have like it wasn't the point like I it, it didn't make any sense for me to show you that <laughs> but it, yeah I think it looks really good actually uh, I realized that the house that I used the custom paintings before is actually the one next to this one and it was a shell challenge that I did a long time ago and from my friend Brit uh, so yeah uh, I used custom paintings in that house <laughs> and now I'm using it in this one so yeah, I think I think they're really fun to use and I really like them, but I'm not gonna overuse them So don't worry. I'm gonna keep on using only the items that we got in game because that's the point of this game But actually we're getting to the end of the video now. It's a really short one so I hope you guys have liked it and That you enjoy everything that you're seeing and that you guys have a happy new year um, regardless of everything that's going on in the world so remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this speed build and also follow me on social media the links are all in the description down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video enjoy the screenshots goodbye in all